Welcome back and Jamba Leso to the seventh episode of Drukyul's Digital Salon. We are here at Folk Heritage Museum. It's a beautiful day here with trees and a little bit of rain. It's a perfect day to talk about poetry and poems. And speaking of poetry, we have an inspiring poet here with me today. Ta-da! <laughs> welcome, love, welcome. Thank you. Um, please introduce yourself, love, first. Thank you. My name is Tita Rai. I am from Durkhar Lumbe under Samsi Zongkhak. Uh, currently, I have completed class 12 from Paljoling High Secondary School. And uh, less, less. Thank you. How old are you, <laughs> by the way? <laughs> I'm 20 years old. Oh my God, so young. Don't ask me about my age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we start talking about poetry and creativity and words, let's talk a little bit about your childhood. So what kind of baby were you? Were you a cute, fat baby who was really creative and active? <laughs> and had to run around and uh, just talk a little bit about your child childhood and how it was la i was a normal child yeah. from, who was born in uh, one of the remote uh, place oh so okay when i was in class i mean when i was uh, when i was six years old mm -hmm. i got enrolled in one of the nearest schools mm -hmm. from my place that mm -hmm. was sangden law secondary school okay so I don't remember what <laughs> I liked, what I did, what uh, I mean, how I enjoyed my days till class two. But mm. after I reached in class three, everything got changed in me. Mm. Uh, in the sense, uh, the way I talked, mm -hmm. the way I dreamed of Ooh. becoming someone in future. Uh, what happened in class three then that inspired you to change and like there dream is, a lot? And there, use there is a reason okay. behind behind for all those changes mm -hmm. and I would like to I would like to I mean figure out the main reason okay so I ha I mean it's all because of my class teacher ah, less, less. Mr. Pukar Guru mm. who was really inspiring and he's currently uh, working at, working still as a teacher in Paljoling High Secondary School mm -hmm. it's all because of him because of his guidance because of uh, his words that I totally changed and uh, you were inspired yeah yeah, yeah. I was inspired mm -hmm. inspired in the field of literature wow that's amazing I also remember when I was in class four uh, I had madam Dichin she was my class teacher and she was even when she would like sing songs she was so like, active you know and I think teachers have that when teachers are so good at teaching our students get inspired and we really love reading and writing and what not because of that um, do you remember what were the first books or stories that you really liked, uh, that you were reading a lot when you were a kid? Sure. Mm. I used to read a lot since a kid. Mm -hmm. And when I was in class three, I started reading more and more because, uh, like I said, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Pukar Gurung, who was my class teacher, he used to bring lots and lots of library books in oh, class okay. for us, yeah, for yeah. students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, the books that he used to bring was uh, the books of ladybugs. I oh yeah, yeah I remember those. <laughs> they used to be in volumes, yeah, no? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> and uh, other readers for mm -hmm. I mean uh, other readers which suited uh, us. Ah uh, okay okay. So, so other books that were yeah, like suitable yes, for class four. Ah uh, less less. I remember. I don't know whether in your time you had Dichen and Dorji because I think we grew yeah, up in yeah, Dichen yeah, and Dorji stories. <laughs> Did you also read those? La? Yes, Do you remember, remember uh, reading uh, Enid Blyton? Have you read those? Or Famous Five? I think we, when we were in school, we would read those books a lot. So yeah, after four, five, six, what were some of the books that you read in high school that you really liked? After I, I mean, after I mm -hmm. read all those books and mm -hmm. as the time passes by, and as I graduated to higher yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, higher classes, yeah. so I totally changed the way that I read mm -hmm. and the books that I used to read. Mm -hmm. and from Ladybugs, Snow White, Dash and then Dorji, yeah, I yeah, totally yeah. jumped to <laughs> graduated <laughs> yeah. to other books. To other books like mm -hmm. novels written mm -hmm. by. Uh, Robin Sharma. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, Nicholas I used Sparks. To what about Nicholas Sparks? The Notebook. And did you read, read those as well? Yeah. That love story. Love stories. Yeah. No, no, no I, I. You don't like don't love stories. Yeah. Ah, no. less, less, less. So, what is the genre? What do you usually like to read? I usually like reading adventure books Ooh, and nice. I even like reading self-help books. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, you're like she's like 20 years old and already reading self-help books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, 
So let's talk a little bit about um, the different genres that, like you said, you liked adventure and. Had you, when you were young, did you create stories around it? Like in your head, were you like imagining you being an adventure, or did you like create stories like that? Yes, I used to write uh, after uh, before I started writing. Mm. I read a lot because I knew that reading is only the foundation for writing. Mm. So I read a lot, and after. Uh, reading many many books yeah. uh, I started writing stories even the adventure stories mm -hmm. uh, whereby I placed myself as a character yes, sometimes yes, yes. So I, I mean placing myself as a character there and uh, leading myself to play great roles there yes so yes I wrote be fighting books. the villains and yes. <laughs> finding the treasure <laughs> yes. so when did you start writing poetry because we are here to talk about poems and poetry and yes yeah, so when did you start how did you like got introduced to poem and when did you start writing it as i already said i i read more and more books mm -hmm. and i started writing only when i reached in class five oh, okay so till class three to five i read many many books and even today i read books read a lot of books yeah. so, so i'm smiling because she said oh my god i was reading a lot and i only started at five which is almost too young but still go on now. so i started writing poems i, I used to give most of my times in mm -hmm. writing poems oh, whereby okay, other okay. other my i mean whereby other friends of mm -hmm. mine used to write uh, stories essays mm. and other genres but mm -hmm. Uh, in case of me, I mostly used to give my time or focus in writing poems. Poems and poetry. So, yes. And what kind of style of poetry do you love? Is it very long like Shakespeare or is it no. very short with haikus? What's your style? No. Out of many styles, let me say some types of styles. Mm -hmm. Poems can be written in free verse, blank verse, sing queen, haiku, mm. and some more like concrete poem, rhymed poem. So out of many, I mean from many types of poems or styles mm -hmm. so I liked uh, rhymed poems whereby I uh, used to write I mean I I prefer writing yeah. uh, rhymed poems in uh, okay, uh, okay. quadratic ah, with, less, only, less, less. Uh, with only around four paragraphs ah, okay okay so four paragraphs rhymes and mm -hmm. and, and five, less, five paragraphs is the maximum poem that I have written till today. Ah, less, less. So that's the longest that you have yes, written memo. Yes. Um, are there any poems that you know by heart or maybe you can read from your phone that you might yes, be working on? La, maybe we can have a reading of a poetry. That'd be fun, mm. right? Yes, so let's see if you have any poems that you have. By the way, it's a beautiful weather here today. The rain, the sound. I wish you were here. Not watching us online, but here. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm here to read one of my poems. That is uh, Beauty of Seasons. When mm. I say Beauty of Seasons, I mostly enjoy writing about nature. Mm. So let me read uh, Beauty of Seasons. Mellifluous spring unfolds its wings with the pleasant flowers all over the veils and invites its ever-living gates, little chirping birds and buzzing bees. Mm. Then comes cool summer with daily rain that makes the whole world deep green where every human rejoices in felicity under the clear and serene sky. Unnoticed by humans comes in autumn and decorates the naked grounds with golden leaves with the heavy wind then bids farewell to the world with deep joy. Mm. Finally comes the coldest winter of the year which crowns every mountain with snow makes the humans the eternal gates of warm hearth until it gives way to the coming of next spring this Whoa. is my poem beautiful <laughs> oh you. my god so she sent me this poem last night but i didn't have the chance to read it and it's so nice to be able to hear it from the poet herself <laughs> so beautiful so what inspired what what inspired you to write this why, why did you write it were you sitting under a tree one day and then the apple fell on you and you were like i need to write this poem <laughs> <laughs> so what was the anila process like so the main thing that inspired me to write this poem is mm -hmm. when i was uh, in class 12 mm -hmm. uh, i was just uh, steering by the window oh, uh, less, less. window looking at the nature so i just thought of uh, the 
changing, I mean, uh, the growing of leaves, mm. sometimes the falling of leaves. Mm. So I just thought of writing about nature, I mean, seasons, the mm. four types of seasons. So mm. I have just explained uh, yeah, four types beautiful. of seasons yes. in four paragraphs. Wow, amazing. And I love the little chirping of birds and welcome. Right now we are in the summer season, so it's about daily rain, which we are experiencing yes. right now. <laughs> and it's about the deep green and it's also about the bugs that are kind of buzzing around us, but we are going to let that go. So yeah, a little birdie told me that you won and you are a winner of a poetry competition. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Did you win a million dollars? No. <laughs> it was just an award. It was an award? Yeah, yes. uh, what was the award for? Award, uh, I actually received that award because of uh, mm -hmm. myself being one of the active writers uh, in that forum. Mm -hmm. So um, the uh, I mean the forum uh, forum is I mean the name of the forum is uh, motivational streets. Oh, motivational whereby, strips. Okay. Whereby uh, writers from every part of the world are being joined there. Oh, and okay, okay. So this is like a world platform. Yeah, ah, yes. Less, less, it's less. a platform for writers. Okay. And uh, and they, uh, I mean, they uh, select best poets. Okay. Or best writers annually. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just say about last year. Mm. And last year they have uh, done same like this year. So mm. I was one of the uh, selected poets from Bhutan, oh, and I received uh, I received an award called Order of Shakespeare Medal. Wow! And I just got chills. That sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and in case of this year, I received the Memorial uh, Literary Honor. I mean, Rabindranath Tagore Memorial Literary Honor 2022. Wow. So you won twice, Memola. Y yes, wow. ma'am. Wow, that's a, that's a world key platform, not Bhutana, world key platform. <laughs> That's amazing. So what kind of poetry was it? Did you um, have to like submit or is it like you're in the community and you're always discussing and writing and that's why they selected you? How is the process? Maybe our audience can also participate in it in the future. La. They actually select, uh, select our poetry by looking at the number of poems that we uh, oh, less, contribute less. to the forum oh, monthly. Less, 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 less. So, so that they, means you write a lot memo, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, wow. yeah, I write and post there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> contribute That's amazing that, that you write so much and that you... Any, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, of course, you talked about the world key poetry field more. In Bhutan, do you think there is a um, future for the poets in Bhutan? There is some kind of a market for poets in Bhutan? What is your opinion on that? Of course, you're starting out and you're doing good, but the Bhutan ki environment ka dula when it comes to poets and creativity ki? Mm, I feel that there is lots of scopes for writers mm -hmm. uh, and poets in Bhutan as mm -hmm. well, because, uh, because uh, any writers, mm -hmm. any writer or poet can write their I mean, write their uh, poems, write their stories, write novel or any other stories and they can just compile and make a book so that uh, just because of that book, I mean, mm -hmm. the published book that will benefit or that will make uh, uh, writers or poets uh, in a future bright. Uh, okay, okay. So you're saying that in Bhutan there is space and uh, scope for writers to like print books and then for them to like come out as writers mm -hmm. speaking of books i heard that you're also working on a book Mola. maybe sure, you can talk a little bit about sure. it yeah. <laughs> as i said i started writing since i was a kid mm. so till today i have more i i have written more than 100 poems mm -hmm. so uh, this year i have compiled 50 of my poems wow. in a book That's and a lot. Uh, and I have come here to publish my book. So oh, less, less. I would like to say that uh, my book is still under the process, process. of publication. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I forgot to say the title <laughs> of my book. <laughs> go on, it's okay, it's okay, go on. So the title of time. my book is Seasons and Senses. And Seasons and Senses. Yeah, and th this topic is given by Limbo T.S. Powell mm. after, uh, after His Excellency completed uh, editing my work. Uh, so he was your editor? Yes. Wow, that's amazing that we have um, great legends who are helping the young people mm. and for us to like come out and step out. So that's really good. Thank you so much for everyone out there who's supporting young writers, young artists. 
you're the best. <laughs> mm. With this, let's talk a little bit about, you know, because I personally believe that there are two kinds of writers. One that loves happy ending and one that loves tragic ending. And I myself, I love tragic ending. I actually don't like happy endings <laughs> much. So what kind of writer are you? Are you more towards let's have a happy ending and give hope or let's just end everything in tragedy? <laughs> I'm just opposite to madam. Oh, less, less, less. I just like happy endings. You like so. happy endings and hope and love. Yes. This is, yeah, that's nice. I mean, I guess it makes sense to each his own, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit. Let's make it a little fun. Let's talk a little bit about um, mo like movies that came out of books, right? So we have Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. Are there any movies that you love watching that got turned, like from books that got turned yes, into movies? Yes. Uh, out of many books that turned into movies, I could still remember a book mm. titled uh, Born in Jangdi, written by Jambar Singh Mongar, a ah, Buddhist writer. Last, last, last. So okay. During my days in school, I read, I mean, when I was in uh, school, I mm -hmm. read that book and uh, during the time of reading, mm -hmm. I cried a lot because I of reading that book. <laughs> because I haven't read it. What is it about? <laughs> It's all about uh, the struggles of a uh, brother and sister mm -hmm. who even, I mean, who lost uh, lost their mother. Oh, lost mother. Oh, okay, and okay. uh, though they will have their stepmother, mm -hmm. but they will not get the same peace love like they, I mean, peace, love, care, mm. like they used to get from their own blood mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole story is about that and that really touched you. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about, um, so your poems, right? You write about nature. What kind of poetry do you wish to write in the future? Like what kind of genre do you want to go into? You said you love romantic and happy endings. Would you like to go more towards that maybe? Talk a little bit about love or tragic or society even, you know, some poems can be a comment on society as well. So what kind of poetry would you like to write in the future? In the future, I would like to write whatever I am writing <laughs> today. Right now what I... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I would like to have uh, my poems with happy endings mm -hmm. and lessons, of course. Mm -hmm. so Even lessons yeah, and morals. Yes. Uh, less, less, less. Mostly I used to focus on nature, mm. in nature. So uh, in the future as well, I'm planning to write more about nature mm. because I could see that most of the people like reading about nature. They mm. like... Uh, even they like stories and other articles about nature. So, mm -hmm. so after the completion of my book, mm -hmm. I mean, I already said that I am on the process of publishing my first poetry book. Yeah. After that, uh, fifty of my poems are remained has remained. So. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm planning to publish those poems as well oh, as soon as I complete uh, my first wow. poetry book. Wow. And after uh, my second poetry book, I'm mm. planning to uh, go for novels oh, because less, less. because compared to poetry books, uh, I could see that people of today's world. Mm. Uh, mostly enjoy reading novels, so mm. I'm planning to write novels. Uh, less. And she's 20 years old, by the way. All these goals and 20 years old. I don't even know when I was when I was 20. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to write novels and then slowly drive into that memo. Um, I want, okay, so maybe if, uh, one last few questions and then we can any more end it. Um, I was thinking a lot about, uh, you said that you want to um, that you like poetry, gi, nature. Gi. Do you go into the nature while you write poetry? What's your writing process like? Do you lock yourself in the room and you write it? Or do you be in the garden and then you write about it? Or do you just maybe go somewhere in a cafe and write about it? Like, what's your process like when you write down your poems? Like? Different writers, uh, writers have different way of writing. Mm -hmm. Some even prefer the noisy place just to write. Mm -hmm. and some even uh, prefer uh, I mean a silent place and mm. for me I prefer silent place and mm. whenever I start writing poems mm -hmm. I go to silent place and to silent place in the sense mostly I used to make myself place in the garden oh, so that's, that's... I just wander around the garden to write poems mm. so that's the main reason I mostly enjoy writing about nature <laughs> I, that's so nice just to kind of have that space for yourself and yes. to be able to write Let's, with this we'll uh, break it now and play a short game it's called this or that so I'll give you a few words and you have to choose which one you want okay and it's very simple it's just fun okay so first chocolate or vanilla chocolate <laughs> hot or cold cold <laughs> uh, summer or winter 
Winter. Love or tragedy? Love. Crime or suspense? Crime. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have beaches or mountains? Mountain. Ooh, because <laughs> Bhutan has mountains and it's nature. <laughs> have you ever been to a beach though? Beach, yes ma'am. Yeah? Where, where, where? I think you will get really good poetry at the beaches as well, just to have the ocean give waves, just kind of sit there, no? Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, um, let's go move on. Uh, let's have pink or blue? Pink. Dogs or cats? Cats. <laughs> uh, ruler or urban? Urban. Okay. Um, let's go down, 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 down. Okay. Reading books or watching movie? Reading books. Ooh, <laughs> reading books. All the readers club, please join us and like this. <laughs> like this video. Okay, moving on. Um, Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Instagram, okay. And now, your mother or your father? Mother. I... <laughs> last, uh, the last, 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 last. Poetry or novels? Poetry. Poetry <laughs> always. Let's with this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And you're just 20 years old and you have so much like to look forward to. And you're already writing a lot and reading a lot. And I hope you write many more poetries. And uh, maybe you can also dive into spoken word because I really loved when she read it out loud. And I was here just sitting and reading, like her reading her poetry and me listening to it. It was a good vibe. So with this, any last words for our, our viewers? Maybe you can tell them to buy your book when it comes out. <laughs> mm. I would like to say that, I mean, I would like to thank all my viewers uh, for your attention, for, uh, for your attention. Mm. And also, I would like to pass my regards and I would like to even uh, thank my readers, my readers for your continuous love, support, uh, support, yeah. support and also uh, I would like to thank all the people who have contributed uh, contributed for the publication of my book and thank you I last thank you so much <laughs> thank you for watching uh, please to please make sure that you're subscribed to Bhutan Echoes to Rook Literature Festival so that we can keep uploading amazing videos and you can keep watching them you already have data and you're at your home you're scrolling through might as well watch the two beautiful girls talking about the world and poetry it's fun with this thank you so much for watching join us next time with another guest and another topic bye bye <laughs>